So Kane, obviously, there's there's plenty of uh, teams within the Blackpool Town FC. Can you maybe just explain what possible player opportunities there are for some of the international academy students? Yeah, th first and foremost, their their first um, their first target is to make the daytime under eighteen squad. Um, well, I say under eighteen, the tag team at the time they're playing there for nineteen and older but the reality is they're vying for selection first and foremost into the tactic league uh, we've got two teams entered into that it's a daytime midweek daytime league um, it's a very much a youth youth league so that's their first target they to get themselves established in there and that's you know um, early doors you know through if they want to impress upon the coaches through August and September that's where they that's where they need to be doing it if they have ambition to play in our kind of senior structure, they're going to need to really impress and work hard in them sessions. They need to be physically fit um, and go the extra mile. Um, so you know, I think they're a realistic target for a under eighteen would be our Allied Counties midweek squad, which is an evening team plays under the floodlights. That's a really good test. You're playing against other good local um, non-league non-league sides uh, very very tough you know you, you, the, the, that would be a step up you know really I'd be really impressed if they made it into our Isthmian League under 18 side now you really that's you're playing against teams like Woking that are a National League side you're playing against National League teams there so that's a real um, that's gonna be a real step a real tough test for them boys to get into that team but that's the opportunity that's where that's got to be their opportunity Beyond that, for the older players that are coming in, is our um, under 23s that play in the Suburban Premier. Again, an incredibly tough test playing against National League Step 1 teams. So these are professional clubs. That's that's the league we'll be playing in and around. Um, that'd be a phenomenal, uh, a phenomenal level. I don't think they'd have seen that level in football they'd have played back home. So that's that that would be. Um, Really good if we could get some players in and into that level this year. And then obviously the, the, the headline target for any of the, the players coming in obviously is our first team. But we have to assess where these players are at. And we have to be realistic. You know, they're coming in, some of them coming in, perhaps it's the first time they've been away from home. So there's going to be some challenges there when, when you know, there's going to be one or two of them may be homesick. Um, we'll have to balance all of that and be realistic manage their expectations, manage their targets, and work with them and identify what is the right target. So a lot of that kind of month one, first first kind of 30 days, 45 days, will be spent working with the player to understand where they want to go. Um, and then manage that. You know, I think it's unrealistic if they come in and say, right, I want to play first team, and I want to be first team by September. We need to be realistic. That's, that's a huge step. Huge, huge step. But if a player comes in and shows great potential. That's the, that's that's there for them. You know, they, there's there's no restriction. They can go through any one of our senior teams. It will be about the player, and that's what we're as a club. It's always about the player.